So what's more important right now, or should you be forced to choose between the economy or health care? Here to make their case, liberal blogger Amanda Turkle. She's the editor of thinkprogress.org. Also conservative blogger Liz, Liz Mayer, who blogs at lizmayer.com. Liz is also former online communications director for the Republican National Committee. Thank you both for joining us. Liz, I'll start off with you. Thank we you. started the morning uh, with a number of uh, members of Congress, Republican members of Congress, talking about uh, the White House and Washington being bogged down with health care and not focusing in on the economy. Some feel that they were trying to distract from the progress we saw yesterday with the Senate Finance Committee. Why can't you talk about both? Personally, I think we should be talking about both. I think that both are very important issues, and I think if you surveyed Americans at large, you would find that. I think there are a lot of people who are concerned about health care, whether they're in favor of the reform package that's been proposed or they oppose it. I think also if you look out in areas like Elkhart, Indiana, which the president has, of course, visited many times, you're looking at an area where there is potentially up to about 20 percent unemployment. So, of course, the economy is very important there. But why then the storyline we're seeing, Liz, from uh, the Republican leadership, Cantor, Boehner, all today coming out with statements saying, again, that the White House in Washington bogged down with health care when people are looking for jobs? Well, I do think at the moment in Washington there is a heavy focus on health care, and certainly the White House and Democrats in Congress have been very, very focused on that. And I think to some extent uh, it would be arguable that there hasn't been enough focus on the economy. I'm, I'm sure that you know the White House would disagree with that assertion, but if you look at it from the perspective of one of those people who is among the many unemployed in some place like Elkhart, you know I'm sure that there are uh, views that you know health care is important to pursue too. But I think people. People would be asking where are the jobs and I think that's an important question. Amanda, we mentioned at the top that both the White House uh, and Republicans are racing essentially to try to create job creation plans. Um, how important is it for the Democrats that the president not get beaten on that race? In other words, that the Republicans not be perceived politically as the party that's more concerned about jobs and that the Obama administration is more concerned about health care? Well, I don't think it has to be an either-or question. I think that it would be hard to help to get the economy on sound fiscal footing without addressing health care costs, which are rising far faster than inflation. I mean, health care costs affect our pocketbooks. And President Obama is focusing on job creation by passing the stimulus, which Republicans proudly opposed. And now many Republicans around the country are begging for stimulus funds, recognizing it does create jobs, but they're not willing to give the federal government any credit. So it is important that the American public perceives that we're doing something on the economy, but I think health care is a good way to get there. And then Liz Mayer, on that point, I mean, we know that the White House is talking about possibly releasing a new jobs creation plan, perhaps as early as this fall, certainly by the State of the Union. How concerned are the Republicans that uh, the White House, of course, has the bully pulpit, and the president can use that perhaps uh, to get out in front and say, look, I'm the one who has saved jobs, and here's what I'm going to do to create more. I think that there's tremendous concern across the country at how high unemployment remains. When you look at the figures, we're still looking at something that's hovering in the range of 10 percent. You know, there is a lot of concern when you look at polling about how the president has been handling economic issues, whether that is job creation or whether that is things like the deficit. And I think the Republicans are probably feeling fairly comfortable in their ability to talk about the economy as such. But ladies, I want to pose this question to both of you, and it's about the disconnect sometimes that is in Washington and maybe even the topics we talk about related to what's happening with people. I know the polling will ask people what's more important, your job or uh, the economy or health care, but realistically, aren't these all tied together? I mean, if you don't have a job, you thus don't have probably health care. And if your child gets sick, you go into a tailspin. And you can be concerned about keeping your job and also keeping your family healthy. Liz, I'll start off with you. Yeah, I think that there is a connection there. I think that that's totally valid. We have a health care system here where your ability to have uh, health care has been very tied to your employer and your employment. Personally, I would prefer to see a system where, you know, people have more individual control over their health care. And, you know, I think the current economic situation is something that's really rammed that home to a lot of people. They are connected. Amanda? I mean, I think this shows part of the importance of having a robust public option so that if you do lo lose your job, you can still get affordable health insurance. And it also shows the importance of lowering health care costs right now. Even if you do have a job and have insurance, a lot of times these spiraling out of control costs force you into bankruptcy. And even if you have, like I said, even if you have a job or have health insurance, you just can't afford it. All right, All right Amanda Turkle is mayor. Thank you both for joining us.